Hi, my name is Anna. I'm a music producer and sound designer. In my previous videos, I showed you how I work with Ableton Push 3 and I slightly touched the topic of MPE. I was using presets that are already existing inside Ableton Live and Push. But in this video, I want to go a little bit deeper and show you how to create your own MPE sound. I want to make my sound fully original, so as a bass I will use three ambient samples which I've recorded by myself using my Zoom stereo recorder. The first sample is a noise of a street. The second one is a piece of ambience of a working factory. And the third sample is the ambience of a construction site. Now I'm going to create my MPE pad where these three sounds will be combined all together. First thing I do is I go to the browser and put sampler on my free MIDI track. I open the zone tab and put my samples here. One, two, three. Now if I press the pad on my push three, all these samples are playing together. But I need them to play separately depending on what area of the pad I'm pressing, so let's do that. I switch to Sample Selection Editor, I right-click here, press Distribute Samples Equally. And then I need to make some MIDI mapping. I click the MIDI tab here and I map the slide parameter to Sample Selector and drag it to 100%. So what's happening now? If I press the lower area of the pad, I can hear my street ambience sample. In the middle is the ambience of a factory. And if I press the upper area of the pad, I hear the sound of construction. As you can see, here I can also map lots of other parameters from my sampler instrument. For instance, I have a filter here and I can link the filter frequency to the pressure of my pad. Now, the harder I press the pad, the more filter is opening. As another example, let's go to the modulation tab. Turn on the LFO1, put it in the bit sync mode and make it modulate the global volume. And now let's get back to MIDI tab and make the LFO rate react to the velocity. Now if I press the tab with lower velocity, the LFO rate will be also lower. If I press it hard, the LFO will work at a higher rate. Ok, that's how it works inside Sampler. But what if I want to map my parameters of expression to some audio effects added on top of the sampler? In that case, I will go to MIDI effects in the browser and drag the expression control here. Let's choose some effect, for example the echo. Now I can map any of these expression parameters to basically any knob of the effect. Let's try to link the aftertouch to the dry wet parameter of the echo. Now the effect is only getting wet when I touch the pad and the harder I press it, the more wet it is. If I want to stay, for instance, between 20 and 80%, I adjust the minimum and maximum value here. It was a quick guide to building your own MPE sound. I hope it was useful and easy to understand. If you liked this tutorial, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks for watching and see you again soon. <laughs>